Today, with our allies, we embark on an operation of unparalleled importance to establish a beachhead at Normandy and roll back the German aggression that has terrorized Europe for the past five years. We are all that separates the world from darkness. This, so much more than a chance to be heroes in our own lifetimes. If we prevail, our triumph will be etched into the hearts and minds of a grateful world for untold generations. I'm talking about glory, gentlemen. True glory. Colonel Davis sure can't give a nice speech. His pep talk reminded me of the one Coach Johnson gave us on our Thanksgiving Day game versus Austin. I'm sure you remember we lost that game by 42 points. Always looking over Pearson's shoulders, Lieutenant Turner. He's got him on a tight leash. But if Pearson breaks free, we'll all get bit. Ever since I could hold a rifle, I wanted to be like you, Paul. You've always been a tough act to follow. But I'm damn sure gonna try. Me and the fellas, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Not good enough for Pearson, but nothing is. Maybe I'll get home by Christmas with a couple medals on my chest. But first, we gotta take Marinier. Schmeling versus Lamada. Schmeling would have KO'd Lamada. No way. And Schmeling's a Nazi. I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. Now, they made him their poster boy. That guy didn't have a choice. We all got a choice. Mm, you know, Nietzsche said there was only oh, a strong... That's enough mouth. All right. Uh, what about Lewis versus Sugar Ray Robinson? If we're talking 1938, Lewis Robinson wins hands down. Hey! Oh. Look who came back for more. I thought you were out another week. Not after I heard a bunch of tough SOBs were about to take Marinier. Yeah, well, playbook's working. At this rate, we'll be home by Christmas. Don't just stand there. Let's see. All right. Not bad, eh? Oh. Yeah, I've seen worse. Glad to have you back, Private. Good to be back, sir. All right, fellas. We got a unique opportunity here. This is our chance to break out of Normandy. It won't be easy. The hedgerows are heavily defended. We got reports of crowd armor in the area. But if we can hold and secure Marinier, we own the roadways. And if Zussman can take a knife in the gut and come out swinging, I like our odds just fine. Always bet on a winner, sir. For Turner, shielding us is his noble calling. Let's move. The war just has a habit of getting in the way. Same dream, huh? Pretty much. Can't seem to shake it. I'm good now. You get some rest. No. I have to show Pearson I'm ready. I don't care what he says. You ain't got nothing to prove. Yeah, well, I'm tired of taking his shit. Back home, you want to settle something? You do it head on. It's the only way to earn respect. I understand that. Believe me, a man has to fight his own battles. But respect don't mean a lot if you get yourself killed. Just glad you got my back. <clears throat> Besides, good old St. Michael's watching over us, so we got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Didn't realize you guys believed in that stuff. I'll take all the help I can get. So are you gonna tell me about that dream, or what? Wolves had been killing our cattle. Me and my older brother Paul were hunting them when we got cornered. Red! Red, take the shot! I'm trying, I'm trying! <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Listen good, kid. It's only natural to be scared. 
We need to head home, baby brother. Uh. From that day on, I swore I'd never let Paul down again. But now it's not just him I gotta live up to. It's Pearson. If we're gonna make our mark, we gotta be ready for anything. Like teaming up with the SOE, British Special Forces. Something big is happening. Gotta be. Davis is here. We received intelligence from the resistance about a German train carrying V2 rockets for an attack on Paris, refueling near Argentan. That gives us just enough time to move our team into position. It must be stopped. You proved yourselves in Marinier, which is why you'll get the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir, but it seems like a job for more than one platoon. That's why I'm teaming you up with the SOE. Looks like you two caught a bit of it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We saved some for you. Agents Vivian and Crowley will lead the operation. They've been working with the Resistance for months and know the terrain well. We'll defer to them. We heard about Marigny. Impressive. I can't take all the credit. Just doing our job. And a fine job it was, but a warm-up, I'm afraid. Look, this is no ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. A liaison in the Resistance, Rousseau, will provide support if possible, but attacks on their network could mean we're on our own. The fate of Paris is in your hands. It's been a week since we took out that train. Our platoon's in the middle of Paris, working with the resistance. Rousseau and Crowley have a plan to sabotage the occupation, and that means striking at its heart. Using the documents we obtained from the train, Rousseau and I will pose as Nazi officers to infiltrate the garrison. This way, gentlemen. The garrison is run by SS and Polizeiführer Heinrich. And he couldn't find me. He came for my parents and my husband. And find me, my son. Tonight, everything we've lost, everything we fought for, will mean something. Tonight, we take back our city. The garrison. Our contact there will supply us with explosives. And when we blow the gates, that'll be your signal to approach. We're counting on you. All right, boys. Let's get ready. These crowds ain't gonna give up easy. <laughs> I figure we can survive Pearson. We can survive anything. I fought alongside him at Kasserine. We should all be so brave. It won't be long now, mes amis. But first... We enter the wolves' den. See you there. We thought with the liberation of Paris, we'd be one step closer to home. But our troubles are just beginning. We're fighting in the city now, Aachen. Crowd's got a death grip on it, and for good reason. We're drilling a hole clear through their western border. Davis has us going block by block, house by house. Knock them all down, he calls it. Turner and Pearson, I ain't seen eye to eye since we got here. The grind's taking a toll on us all. Time for more beans and bullets. If I tell you to do it, it is the goddamn mission! Hey, pick up the pace! We gotta hit CP by nightfall. Hey, on this line around. From your girl. Thought I told you not to go through my things. What kind of chump doesn't open a sugar report? Uh, the kind who thinks it's a dear John. See the address? She wrote Daniels, not Red. Only one reason to be so formal. Hate to say it, I think she's cutting you loose. Or hey, maybe it's like Schrodinger's letter. You know, you don't open it, she's still your girl. Ow. Maybe you said Schrodinger's letter. What? What's wrong with you? Quit screwing around! We hit the State Theater at 0730 tomorrow. Everybody's got their limits. Everybody. 
true or not, Hazel, I gotta believe you still love me if I'm gonna stay strong. Your orders were to take the hotel, not evacuate civilians. Who decided this was a rescue op? We thought there was time, sir. Last time I checked, Turner was in charge, not you. Is he making the calls now? No, sir. It was my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is if two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to move out. It's been three weeks. We're in the Hurricane Forest now, clearing it so the convoy can get to the Rhine. I'm not proud to admit it's taken me this long to open your letter. If it's over, we're here for you, pal. I tried to warn you. College, let the man speak. She's pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's huge! All right, Daniels is gonna be a daddy. Yeah. She was trying to let me know, but I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of Joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. But I don't want coffee. Sure you do. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. I tried to the day you were shipping out. The day you took my picture. Requesting a combo check. Can you read me? Over. If you don't mind me saying, sir, maybe we should head to the assembly point. Not yet. Pearson will get here. Sir. Is it true about Pearson getting those men killed at the Kazarine Pass? One day, Daniels, when you're leading your own platoon, you find out there's usually two options. Bad and worse. Would you focus on your men? Because that's what'll get you through. Tell that to Pearson. Sergeant Pearson. You just pray you're never in that position. Lieutenant! Just got a transmission from Baker. They're gonna assault Hill 493. Pearson's with him. What? He took our guys and second platoon. Gear up! Let's move! Out of here. No, we can still make it. You have to, you have to retreat. No, we ain't leaving you here. You get me up, I'll hold them off. You have to go. Go. It was an honor. No sacrifice too great. Go. Fall back, soldier. Move. Move! Move! With Turner gone, we lost our protector. Paul, all I wanted was to come home a hero. Now that Pearson's in charge, I may not come home at all. Merry Christmas, Turner. Oh, and Turner, Pearson made farm boy over here a corporal. I wonder what you think of that. Probably that you're the same old sack of shit, Aiello. This ain't the time. To Turner. To Turner. To Turner. To Turner. Lucky son of a bitch. You're always first. Right. Keep eyeballing me. Yeah, get your jollies tonight, boys, because tomorrow when that convoy comes through, 
You're gonna be on the front line defending it. And Turner's not gonna be there. Easy! Easy. You're corporal now, huh? You see how fucking easy it is. Go. On. Give me an excuse. Yeah, that's what I thought. Six years I served with them. Six. Merry fucking Christmas. Convoy's coming through, and it's up to us to make sure it gets to the Rhine. Now all we gotta do is survive the cold and Pearson. What's up, bitte? What's he want? Wasa, bitte. Here. God damn it, what do you do with us? Lay off, Sergeant. What's that? Huh? How's that, huh? How's that work for you? Much better. You son of a bitch. Hey, Sergeant. Hey, you stay out of this. Oh. Hey, stop! He's not worth it. Daniels! Don't crowd. Why'd you run? You must be hiding something. Son of a bitch was holding out on us. Give me that. The fuck's this say? These are orders to plant explosives on the bridge in Remagen. Ordnance is gonna be loaded onto trucks five miles north of here. If I'm reading this right, it's the last bridge standing across the Rhine. Well, ain't that something, Fritz? I'm on the search for workers. I'm going to inspect them. Die und separat. Lose the tags. Lose them. They're after Jews. Where sind die Juden? Die Juden. Where are the Juden? Frag me, stop, you Nazi, you scheiße. Du sprichst Deutsch. Ausgezeichnet. Welche sind die Juden? Fick dick. Zeig sie mir. We're Americans, period. Wohin bringst ihr uns? Ihr seid zum Arbeiten hergekommen und das werdet ihr auch tun! Welcome home, Red. From this moment on, I am not letting you out of my sight. You understand me, Corporal? Yes, ma'am.
You all right there, Red? We're gonna talk or we're gonna hunt. You should be proud. You ruled your fear and you held your own. Nothing more you can ask of a man. It's the best feeling in the world, ain't it? Facing down hell and coming home a bona fide hero. Red? If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. All right, there she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. We get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust him open. Hey, look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Secure the bridge entrance! Yes, Sergeant! Come on! Hey, don't make me regret giving you a second chance. You know I won't. Let's move. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs, including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Is it over? You must be dreaming. What'd they do? Thought you were left behind. I'm only die alone out here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get him out of here. Into the Jeep, come on. General, General, General. <laughs> You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. Yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sergeant. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> Crazy ain't the half of it.
If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But well, you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves paw. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. See you all again. We've had quite a ride together. Back to Scott, the Fuhrer's own stash. Perhaps your finest hour, Captain Jefferson. Anytime I'm taking Nazis down to peg is my finest hour. Besides, these bastards had a Vermeer hanging next to a Valkenberg. Sure, they're both Dutch, but wrong damn century. Olivia. Your field work at Nuschwanstein led us to over 6,000 pieces stolen from private collectors in France. The Nazis have taken so much from us all. This art belongs to the people. And who can forget the Merkur's salt mine? Yeah, yeah, I know what I did, but hold your applause. I'd rather try knobbing a rolling donut before I bust my ass with your pennies again. It's not worth it, mate. Duly noted, which brings us to Middleburg and the current operation. Dr. Fisher? Ten days ago, we received a dossier. Material smuggled out by a young Austrian scientist who's reconsidering his loyalties. In it, he provides the location of a hidden bunker where Dr. Straub and Colonel Richter had been collecting some peculiar pieces. Whatever they found, it's being used to power some kind of experiment. You have no idea what you're dealing with, do you? Your mission is to seize that relic. Everything else is on a need-to-know basis. Is it just me, or does it seem that we're a wee bit late to the party? I didn't sign up for this shite. None of us did. But here we are, and you have your mission just as I have mine. To find and rescue the scientist who risked his life to get us this intelligence. Klaus Fischer, my brother. I'm in antiquities, darling. Not search and rescue. Best of luck. <laughs> What the hell was that? I told you this was buggered! I often told you! It's too soon for us to be back in the field. Rodeo was wrong to send us up. Yeah, anybody else wish he hadn't survived the train wreck. Oh, shit. 
I watched you at the briefing. You don't like this place. What is it? Rideau said you'd been here before. Yeah, well... This place has got some history. Poking out of the sea like Lucifer's middle finger. No surprised Stroke came here to this piece of shit island. I'm just wondering why we followed him. We need to find the rest of the sword before he does. We need to... We know why you're here, Marie. At least this time you're not pretending to care about our cause. This is different. We should have heavy fog all morning. If everything goes well, nobody will fire a shot. Yeah, why have things ever gone well for our little tea party? the boat. This damn island, this god damn island! Calme-toi. to Britain. No, something's wrong. We're not going to England. Straub has other plans. Hey, you need to see this. Berlin. Straub has come home. Those were Russian forces moving in. Looks like they're burning the city to the ground. Yeah? Well, the Ruskies aren't ready for what's coming. Nobody is. We need to get off this ship in one. Attention! The hatches are opening! Get down here! Now! this coming. The horror of this new military force, a force composed entirely of the dead. 
is torn across the face of Europe. It has fallen on us, the newly formed Bureau of Archaic Technologies, to be the tip of the spear in this fight. We are woefully outnumbered. We cannot match this enemy blow for blow. But with the help of our new allies, we will strike where they are most vulnerable. We will be smart. We will be fast. We will be lethal. But we must do more than simply kill our enemies. We must utterly destroy them. Very subtle, yeah. I don't need any more warning. It's been a grand visit. Thanks for the memories. Be sure to write. But now it's time to leave. <laughs> Such a fine lots of answers down there. Answers to questions I hadn't even thought to ask. Oh, all gone. No, not all gone. Didn't you read the markings on the wall? The cuneiform inscriptions? Come on, Professor. You could read that. I mean, well, I mean, I recognize the pre Byzantine characters, but. Oh, hell, I couldn't make head enough tail. Hey, how is it that you're up to your arse in undead ghoulies and still have enough sense to translate the prehistoric scribbles of a lost race? Has a team arrived from New Swabia yet? Unconfirmed, sir. Task Force 68 lost contact with them over Thurston Island. And we've lost Paris. A team is pulling out with survivors. Damn it. Have Captain Yen move her ships west and begin a search. Priority one, we need that sword. Sir, I, what is the sword going to do? We're outnumbered ten to one. That sword is the key to all this. The Nazis have opened the door to hell on Earth. And we're gonna close it. Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. <laughs> Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Forget Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. You are. 
That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men, to have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! Gunford. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. 
I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Al Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, rein, rein! Ich sag dir, beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Alina, the exit is all clear. Da, it's close to the car. La vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. <clears throat> Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix, likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. 
He said it was their first mission, that his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But are other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, the Christine, who's nice, Yoshto Moshish. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Napolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. I'm stuck in the med tent. Pastor. <sighs> Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodge. Glory is worth nothing when you are dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> mm. 
You misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? <laughs> because I am a woman. Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. So, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. We'll confirm my story together. Mm -hmm. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And with. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American arrested at Tempelhof, trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. The prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. You hurt? Are you blind? Just trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. When we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See les trois mousquetaires. Let Edith Merard break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints at my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off. But I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd, and we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. 
I know you are the sixth man. What did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. I want to know what else they've lied about. Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. was his contradiction. He is one of the war's greatest pilots, but he needed a team. The problem was getting him to admit it. Hey guys. Don't everybody rush over at once. I'm fine. Isn't this a nice little reunion? You lied to me. For all we knew, he was dead. So you can fuck off. Really? is dead. What? How? Who is it the Allies? Reports indicate he took his own life. But without the Fuhrer, we are lost. Hardly. Trust you have new information. Uh, wait. Hmm? As you suspected, the American was the sixth man. But I believe I have finally broken them. It saddens me to see the fatherland defied. I feel the rations, no less. There's nothing left for us here. If the Reich is to live on, I must know their safe passage to Tempelhof. I was counting on you, Richter. But you've proven non-essential. No, 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 sir, no. I will get you what you require. I sweat. Your time is short. I understand. Mein Führer. is on to us. We're out of time. I, uh... I 
tried to nab us a getaway plane, but that didn't work. And by the time I got here, you, you guys were already locked up. So I, uh, I borrowed a bomb from the Ruskies and turned myself in. We got about, uh, about an hour before that wall blows wide open and we waltz right out of here. If we live that long? I can't trust him. He's just a fucking pilot. A fucking ace pilot is what you mean. I'm with the lady. What the hell do you know about explosives? Yeah? Well, fuck you too, then. I'll tell you why we can trust him. Here we go. Wade's more than capable of getting us out. Files in hand. thing in the skies. But if you fly too close to the sun, eventually your wings will get burnt. changed Wade. They showed the flying daredevil from the clouds what war looked like in the dirt. Down there, he learned the only way to win was to have each other's backs. If you get past this talk and you see his actions, you will know who Wade Jackson really is. I don't care what he did before. Wade abandoned us in Hamburg. I still don't trust him. I get it. But we're not in this shithole because of him. We're in this shithole because some sodding Krauts think they can crack the best team I've ever worked with. Now, we need a plan to get us out of here. We're surrounded by Nazis. Even if we escape, we're gonna be dead before we reach the door. Maybe not. What an idea. We were gonna put on a show for Richter. It was a gamble, but we'd come too far to give up on getting those files. Polina being next gave us time to get ready. We knew she'd hold her own. Nice to see you again, Fallen. Please, please. 
This is exactly what I imagined your weird little office would look like. Oh. Tell me what your team is planning. Lady Nightingale. Stalingrad, the city that arrested the Nazis' eastern expansion. Had the city fallen, Russia would have crumbled. The Germans underestimated Russia's will to survive. They underestimated the city and her defenders. The people looked to Polina as a symbol of hope, but she didn't want to be a hero. She wanted only vengeance. The arrogance of the Third Reich was to think they could achieve what the great Napoleon could not. Perhaps if they weren't facing someone as fierce as Lady Nightingale. Famous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein. Nice lighter. From what I could gather, Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is, I was sent to kill Freisinger. There's gotta be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course, you have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. Raise this up. I ain't gonna be the next sacrifice in your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Lucas. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. You killing each other now, are you? So look, so look.
Kairos to cooperate. I would not take orders from a Negro either. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what colour his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. Hey, no, it was more like master servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Italian Libya, an Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their actions should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Hams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. I caught tunnels. What was the rest? We have very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now, or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a chap. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa, but it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating it up. Sometimes, the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while that blood stains your boots. That's what I told Lucas when we first met. War had taught us both that lesson. The rigid hierarchy of Allied command would look at Lucas and see only character flaws. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. He was perfect for my team. Even if he does have a mean right hook. Lucas played his role perfectly. He had Richter distracted and doubting everything he thought he knew. Are you all right, mate? You, you're looking a little bit pastier than usual. Please. This was... This was... Never a 
about winning the war. This was never about winning the war. This was a coup. This was a coup. Temple off. That's how he's getting them out. Taking the Reich underground. Wait a minute. You're not part of the plan, are you? Well, it looks like we're both going to end up on that meat pile back there. One thing I learned studying Allied strategy. Redundancy. Always have a plan B. With the Soviets invading the city, Lady Nightingale will be my leverage. I will exchange her for my own safe passage. Well, that's one hell of a plan, Fritz. It probably would have worked. Fucking blade! Please, I will let you go. <laughs> you made one mistake, but it was a bloody ripper. <laughs> you thought you cracked us. Redundancy, mate. Always have a plan B. I've just received word. We have safe passage from Berlin. For years, we have waited for this moment. Many good men were lost. Rommel, Steiner, Hitzel. But I promised you, Project Phoenix would succeed. Hitler has paid for his weakness. And now history will remember him as we do. A failure! Yeah. And a coward. Yeah. The Red Army is nearly upon us. <laughs> and Berlin is burning. But from the ashes shall rise our vision for something greater. To the Fourth Reich. That's for Richard. on the first transport be home in time for supper. Or we can end this. Hunt down Freisinger, bury the Reich for good. We might not make it out of Berlin, but 
neither were the Nazis. Whatever we do, though, we do it together. Reisinger is not leaving Berlin. Surprise me, Lemmingtons can wait. Wait? Hey, it's not every day you get a chance to kill a Fuhrer. You can't turn that shit down, right? <laughs> After you, Lady Nightingale. Just so you know, I still have an old about killing you all. How are we looking out there? Gonna be dicey. Just how I like it. Hi, we're back in business. That's it. Let's take a look. The Cape Verde Islands, the Bahamas, Argentina. Even Antarctica. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you lot? Get this again. Uh... Hit the bloody jackpot. <laughs> Come on, dig in. How about this? Project Nova. I can beat it. Project Ether. Reviving the dead. <laughs> Does anyone want some Nazi gold? Looks like we're going to be busy. Keep going. Open them all. Here you are. I was about to try this autopilot and come back. <laughs> What's Project Aggregate? Secret B2 rocket facility. <laughs> you think you could fly one of those? Huh? I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. <laughs> Our mission was complete. Would there be more? Forged in the fires, we were the tip of the spear. We were the Vanguard. Our war is not for our fate. We fight to remove all foreign power from our soil. We are Al Khatala. We are the killers. We fight without sorrow. We wage war without sympathy. This is the only way to live and die a true soldier. Echo 3-1 to Charlie 2 Actual. Go for Actual. LZ is in sight. Looks like our boys are right on time, Colonel. Roger 3-1. Hitman teams are locked and loaded for assault. You are green to go. Colonel, we may have a problem. Too late, Maswell. We're live. Not until I say so. Watch you to 3-1, how copy? Station Chief Laswell, send traffic. General Barkov has sent a new shipment of chlorine gas to his depot. But his mercs are prepping to move the chems into Urzikstan via convoy tonight. You're still clear to engage, but live fire on Russian military is prohibited. We cannot have an international incident. This operation is now compartmentalized. What the hell does that mean? It means you no longer have clearance, Colonel. Those are my Marines. We need a QRF in there right now. That's not advisable. And that is not your call. Colonel. Laswell. General, my men. Norris. Give us a minute. Yes, ma'am. We've got a situation. The Kremlin has suspended all deconfliction channels. The Sixth Fleet is pushing into the Black Sea, and chemical weapons are now in the wild. Your fingerprints are all over this, Laswell. Fix it. General, 
Right now, intelligence is our best weapon. We've tried intelligence. Get me a better weapon. John. As well. Where are you? Occupied. I've got a problem. Russians? Word travels fast. Chemical weapons have fallen into terrorist hands. They could be anywhere. Paris, New York. London. What can you brief? We just did. Save lives today, Sergeant. This shouldn't have happened in the first place, sir. They sent us in half fast. So everyone could just keep pretending we're in old war. Yeah, like the fucking century, that is. Why have we got our hands tied? Let's just take the bloody gloves off and fight. Sir. We don't stand a chance in hell with these rules of engagement, Captain. They can tell us where, they can tell us when. Don't tell us how. My men were tracking that cell for weeks. You had actual intel on this? Quite a bit, sir. Okay, Garrett. You're with me. Alcatala's claiming responsibility. Alex is on the ground there looking for the stolen chems. Well, only need the Liberation Force on his side, so I have him contact the CO. You know Commander Kareem? We're acquainted. Use my name, or don't kill him. What is your message from Captain Price? Commander Kareem, call me Alex. I'm listening, Alex. This is classified. Hello, Adami. Jazuli Alkom. Forty-eight hours ago, terrorists stole a shipment of Russian gas. Only Alcatala would do this. <laughs> the Russians make no distinction between Alcatala and your people. And I make no distinction between Alcatala and the Russian army. They're both terrorists. We would never use these poisons. Then help us track it before they. Before they what? Take it to Europe or America? <laughs> we live like this every day. Commander, it's time to go. Who is this? Alex, this is my brother and lieutenant, Hadir. You are CIA? He works with Captain Price. <laughs> then you kill Russians, yes? I have friends who can help us. But your sister decides what's next. Of course. My sister is in command. And the Russian army is still here. This occupation must end. That we can all agree on, yes? Mm. General Barkov's men control the city. We have plans to change that. We have no missiles, but we have our ways. If you stay, we can help you. But if you stay, you fight. Yonatu. Marhaba Ali Erzikstan, Alex. Follow me. You are in my house now, Alex. I set up on the edge of Barkov's base. Keep those fucking dogs in check. Friends close, enemies closer. Alex and Commander Karim's forces have destroyed General Barkov's forward operations base, temporarily limiting Russian air capability in Uzbekistan. We need to move fast. Sergeant Garrick. Thanks to your intel, we tracked the Alcatala cell responsible for the Piccadilly attack to a townhouse in North London. Three SAS teams will get inside and connect the dots. If the Wolf is in possession of the stolen Russian gas in Uzbekistan, we need to find him. Be advised, there may be non-combatants on target. Check your shots. The 
attic of the Akatala townhouse was a gold mine. Looks like we found the wolf. Communications from the laptop were tracked to Ramaza Hospital in Urzikstan, where the Akatala leader is believed to be holed up. Forest forces will track terror activity at the hospital, while a marine ground force can be mobilized to advance on the complex. Echo 3-1 will capture the wolf for interrogation about the stolen Russian gas. My soldiers confirm that the hospital is under siege. Al-Qatala has taken civilians as human shields. They're protecting someone. Or something. Tomorrow we find out. All clear, sister. Hadir is my best sniper. You can rely on him. And all my fighters. Marines want their pound of flesh. They're leading the charge on this. I told you we would help you. And you're keeping your word. I don't do this to keep my word. The invaders of my country have no regard for human life. The gas kills all things, even food and our gardens. If you use these tactics, you are my enemy. No exceptions? None. Alcatala has given my people a bad name, and we have paid dearly for their crimes. I want to see the wolf punished. I'll make sure you're at the embassy for the handoff to Price. And you? Where will you go when this is over? Wherever they send me. You don't choose. <laughs> Not exactly. Rest up. Tomorrow's a big day. What about you and your men? We'll be here until sunrise. I'll cover the open corner. Echo is on the third deck for RV. Be advised, primary entry point is clear, but that window is rapidly closing. Roger. Well done in three mics. Two six out. Three minutes. In three minutes, my people will be inside. They will kill all of you. Hm. I chose to take you alive. I could still change my mind. You have the wrong man. Lies. Tell them what you've done. We did not steal the gas. Who did? Someone very dangerous. Where is it? I wish I knew. The butcher is outside. They'll burn the city if they have to. Save yourself, daughter. Join us. Do not talk to her. Hey, tap the brakes. I am not your child, old man. I lead soldiers. You train killers. But we are all killers here, no? They're gonna breach. We gotta move now. 3-1 to 2-6, shots fired. Moving to screw the HVI, I will advise. The wolf is with the butcher. Terrorist cells in the city will hide them. Bravo will clear house to house in search. My people will help you. If they try to escape to the mountains, there is only one road. Tariq al mut the highway of death. The Russians bombed it during the invasion, killing the people trying to escape. There is a village at the crossroads. I sent Hadir and his fighters there to prepare an ambush. Alex and I will join them and take up firing positions above the road, lying in wait for the wolf. My brother always wanted to fight without rules. Now he's broken all of them. Hadir went north. He was picked up by AQ fighters in the foothills. Voluntarily or by force? We don't know. I'm sorry, Farah. Your brother is a terrorist. He's an American asset who is either with or in terrorist hands. Adir's fight's not with us. He could have killed everyone when he stole the gas, but he chose not to. How do you know this? I was there, trying to stop it. Why didn't you tell me? We believed it was Al-Qatala. We didn't know it was him. 
We know now. We're going after him tonight. I'll come with you. You'll be hunting your own brother. He is not my brother. Not anymore. Barkov's gonna put a bounty on his head. All right, well, let's get him first. Don't... Any further complications and we're at war with Russia. Well, let them complicate it. This is a bad idea, Farah. We take care of our own here. Not usually what that means. It does here. I want Farah on the team. Try not ask him. Fine. You have execute authority. All of you. Okay, let's brief up. Imagery confirms Hadir was in possession of the remaining stolen gas when he made direct contact with Alcatella's most brutal enforcer, the Butcher. Surveillance tracked their vehicles to a residential complex in the Acris Mountains, believed to be the Wolf's stronghold. Alex and Farah will hold orbit for secondary clearance, while Bravo 6 leads the assault force to locate the chemical agents, retrieve Hadir, and kill the Wolf. Congratulations on the job well done. And as much as we can all hear the ice in the glass, I'm afraid our toast has to wait. Hadir and his new friends are on the move. What are they? One step at a time. No one said they're friends. The general would tend to disagree. Norris, I asked you to let Tell me Tell him, Laswell. Or I will. Command has officially redesignated Farah's forces. You want to translate that from bullshit to English? It means they're on the list. What list? Foreign terror organization list. I've ordered my Marines to treat Farah's army as hostiles. What? They're our allies. Yeah, not anymore. Will you keep your muppets on a short string, Colonel? Or what? I'll fucking earn you from it. Kate, these people need our support. There's nothing else we can do. Well, there's plenty we can do. I'm tired of being told who my friends are. Alex, don't. I'm going back to Urzikstan, staying with Father's army. What you're doing is illegal. I'm pretty sure everything we do is illegal. Mm. Only the good stuff. You got friends nearby? You too. Thank you. For everything. Well, it's not over yet. Trust me. I always have. Station time. Ten minutes. Rog, hold orbit. Hurry now. Barkov's gonna come and claim his dead. Yalla, Tazerna. Ever. You know he's gonna make you pay for this. We will make them pay. We'll be ready. My men have cleared the road to the north. You can camp there. It's safe. Thank you. The revolution begins now, sister. The war begins now, brother. Even war is a high ground. Stay on it. Bravo 6, wheels up in two. Twenty years of civil war. Yeah, there's nothing simple about it. Adir's well trained. Teamed up, kidnapped, doesn't matter. He took the gas to Russia, John. Yeah, he did that with Akatala's help. Got the network and the manpower. Can you blame him, right? Unofficially, no. But this is bigger than Hadir now. We've got two options. Well, we warn Moscow. Or we let Mother Russia have a taste of her own medicine. Yeah, a lot of innocent people are gonna die. At the hands of a Western asset. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. What do you suggest? <sighs> a business trip. On 
sanctioned? The Black. Who's your team? Some old comrades. And the sergeant? He's ready. I can get you in after that. You're on your own. Host nation weapons only. Leave it to me. Hey. It's a checkpoint. For us. What is there a difference? Road's blocked. What's the plan? Shock and all. What if they don't move? That old hell's gonna break loose. Three seconds. That's plenty of time. <laughs> Holy shit, Captain. Nikolai saved our baker. What if they follow? They won't. With women and children. They were leveraged. They were hostages. When you take the gloves off, you get blood on your hands, Kyle. That's how it works. Where do we draw the line, Esau? You draw the line wherever you need it, Sergeant. At the end of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. Now, if you're having second thoughts, then I can do this on my own. No, sir. No second thoughts. Good. Now, let's get out of here before he kills Barkov. Captain, please, give Farah the plans, tell her the truth. You'll have a chance to tell the whole world. I don't care about the world. I did this for my sister. Faceplate to 06, friendly air traffic approaching south of 180. Call sign is Watcher 1. Copy. It's Laswell. What's she doing here? Ah, oh, smell blood. Lab intel. Keep it on you. Yes, sir. The off switch. We're turning him over. To who? Russia. Prisoner swap. It's one way. What's the word, boss? Stand by. Don't make this ugly, Captain. You give me a reason, not to. It's a proxy war, John. We're all just pawns in this. Well, you speak for yourself. Hand him over. Yes, sir. Ah. Here's yours. Intel's mine. Whatever you've got going on here, I can help. I'll call you if I need you. I know how this works, Captain. Not this time. They gave Hadir to the Russians. They'll kill him. If he's lucky. Looks like you saved the free world again, Captain Price. Hadir located Barkov's lab in eastern Georgia. Gas factory. He had plans to destroy it. Hadir is fucking crazy. Yeah, but we're a little crazy, aren't we? Isn't that right, Alex? Affirmative, sir. With your help, we can finish what he started. You're a good friend, Captain. And the worst enemy, I'm sure. But I do not cross borders and invade. I defend my people here at home. Well, sometimes the best line of defense. 
It's all there. Plans, personnel. I see. A militia with no ties to the West could carry out this mission. And I don't blame the terrorists, wouldn't I? I knew I could trust you. If Barkov's there, he's mine. This is a covert operation to destroy Barkov's gas lab. Nikolai is on the inside. He'll provide the explosives. Two teams will infiltrate. Garrick and I will plant charges on the pipeline. Farah and Alex, you'll get a detonator from Nikolai and rig the main furnace. When the charges are set, get a safe distance and bring it down. That support from Laswell paves the way. Rest is up to us. Troops in the open north side of the bridge. Call for fire. Copy. Three seconds to impact. Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. And do what? Ignite the furnace. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been on assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. But left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakaya wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. Then give me what I need. Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John McTavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one.